The problem that we are going to discuss today is vaccine drive. The problem appeared in May 21 cook-off and has a difficulty level of cakewalk. There are no prerequisites to solve this problem. The problem statement goes as follows. We are given a population such that it is divided into 10 groups that is from age 1 to 10, 11 to 20, 21 to 30 and so on. So total of 10 groups are present and the age groups are numbered from 1 to 10. And the data of how many people are present in each age group is given to us in the form of an array. So the information is that the COVID vaccine drive has started and vaccination is going to take place but in the decreasing order of the age groups. So first the age group 10 will be vaccinated then age group 9, 8 and so on in the decreasing order. Also it is given that at max P people can be vaccinated per day and it is also given that chef is present in age group G. So what do we have to tell? We have to find out the minimum and maximum number of days it will take for chef to get vaccinated. So for example like we have this data over here in this table we have 10 age groups and number of people in each age group and let's say it is given to us that P is equals to 2 that is 2 people can be vaccinated per day and also G is equals to 5 that is chef is present in age group 5. So we have to find out what is the minimum number and maximum number of days in which chef will get vaccinated. So how to do that? Let's understand this same test case as well as the solution approach. The solution approach goes as follows. So it is given that chef is present in age group 5 in our sample test case. So it definitely means that the age group that are higher than chef will definitely get vaccinated first. So age group 6 to 10 are the people that are going to get vaccinated before chef. So let's denote the total number of people in these groups by the variable before chef. So the total as you can see over here is uh, 4 times 2 plus 3 that is 11. So these are a total of 11 people. Also now the next turn is of chef's age group. So as you can see that in age group 5 total of 2 people are present. So I can draw 2 people over here. Now the question is that who is going to get vaccinated first because chef is one of these people right. So if chef gets vaccinated first then it will take minimum number of days but if in chef's age group if chef is the last person to get vaccinated then it will take maximum number of days. But it is one thing is clear that these 11 people are going to get vaccinated first. So our answer depends whether in this 11 the first person to be added from chef's age group is chef itself or chef is the last person. In that case all these people's count will be added in 11. So in that case 2. So once we have these both counts we just have to divide them by the given P to get the desired answer. That is if the total count in this case will be 12 in this case it will be 13. So to vaccinate 12 people at the rate of 2 people per day it will take a total of uh, 6 days so the answer will be 6 and to vaccinate 13 people it will take 7 days right because we are going to take seal of the division that is 13 divided by 2 seal that is the higher integer so it will take 7 days so for this uh, given sample test case our answer is going to be minimum 6 days and maximum 7 days so this is going to be our solution approach it is pretty simple for each given test case we calculate the fixed amount of people that are going to get vaccinated before chef and then after that we just add 1 if chef is the first person to get vaccinated or else we add the count of chef's age group that is 2 in this case. So this will give us the minimum number of days and the second one will give us the maximum number of days. Now let's get to the C++ implementation of the same. So the C++ implementation is just a reflection of what we just discussed. 
so i begin my code by taking the input of g and p that is the group of chef and the people i can vaccinate per day after that i take the array input for the data that is how many people are present in each age group total of 10 age groups are present so i take that data then i calculate how many people are going to get vaccinated before chef so that is done by adding the number of people from group number g plus 1 to 10 but because we are following zero based indexing it will start from g and go up to less than 10 now i have this function days over here uh, let's see in a bit what it does so to calculate the minimum amount of days in which chef will get a uh, vaccinated i have to add 1 to the before chef variable so that is done over here and in the other case for maximum answer all the people in chef's group will be added to the before chef count so this is what this function does is basically returns me the seal value so it returns me the seal value of total number of people uh, uh, that is vaccinated at the rate of p people per day so i have just written it in this form to make it easier to understand so as you can see that if i have let's say 12 divided by 2 and i want to find the seal value so if 12 is a multiple of 2 then the answer is clearly going to be 6 but if i have something like 13 divided by 2 then the answer is going to be 13 divided by 2 that is 6 plus 1 right so that's what i have done over here first i do the division then i check if it is uh, perfectly divisible if not i add the 1 so it clearly just gives me the seal value so that's it with the implementation i just calculate the minimum number of days maximum number of days and output the same for each test case as simple as that now i would like to tell you guys about the competitive programming tutorials that we have at code chef so these are the mini courses taught by our expert educators and they are on all possible topics in competitive programming so if you are facing any difficulty in learning a new topic this is the place where you should head to so you can find this over here on the website also if you want even more structured content you can opt for our plus uh, subscription at an academy and while doing so you can use my referral code darshan code 25 to get instant 10% discount